Hi guys, today I'm going to go over how to draw a wizard's, kind of a wizard's face. And I am actually going to do it in one of my smaller sketchbooks. I'm doing it with a pen right now, just a regular ballpoint, ballpoint pen. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to do the measurements to a generic head. A generic head has, is usually split into thirds, um, in the 101 kind of thing. It's um, usually it's like where the hairline is. The, by when I say the hairline, I actually mean the where the head curves back into space, kind of the skull itself. Because I know female hairlines are, I believe, a little bit further back, and male hairlines are a little more forward. But when I say hairline, I mean where it kind of curves back into space, the skull. You know, when it goes from flat to back a little bit. So, this is the hairline, the brow line, below the nose, and then the chin. Generally, they are thirds. Generally, if you if you if you have them in thirds, it'll it'll at least look human. You know, that's general proportion. Um, I think it's based on Roman proportions. Is that I forgot? Um, but every book teaches it like that. Sometimes they'll have like thirds and then like a sliver at the top. Um, and I'm putting a center line. I do this for every face. I want I want the wizard to kind of be looking off this direction. It's just gonna be his face. And so it's gonna be three quarters. I'm putting just a very light. You can even do this in pen. You know, when in pen you can kind of put light construction lines. Uh, I want to know where the nose is gonna be, the eyes where they're gonna where they're gonna go, the eye sockets. And I'm even going to, well, Wiz is the one I want, at least, going to have a big beard. So. I am, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to draw kind of a, just a generic, uh, generic wizard, like, uh, you know, that you see in a lot of different fantasy. Usually it's a long hair, long beard. Basically it's an old man. Um, they do have kind of a look to them. Since it's going to be the head only, it'll probably just look like the head of an old man, to be honest. But I'm going to try to throw something in there. They're all general portion lines. It's probably going to go off the page there. Okay, so now that I have my construction, I am going to dig into the face. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to time lapse, and then I'll speak, maybe, and then in the middle, and then time lapse again. So... I'm going to start, and then I'm going to explain in the middle. Okay, um, I'm actually going to talk right now, um, <clears throat> slow this down. What I'm doing right now is I'm basically just doing the line art. Um, I'm going to kind of shade it, not really. I'm going to put a little, like a little bit of value in there, but I am just doing the regular face right now and I'm going to leave space for the beard um, draw his mouth here underneath uh, let me see um, since it comes to a beard usually the beard the hair kind of obscures the mouth I'm probably just going to draw small hairs like that coming to kind of an end and I'm going to go into more detail on the face um, is, the detail I'm doing is really just from doing life drawing, seeing little things that I record. You know, when you do life drawing, you draw from life, draw from photos. Um, you start taking kind of an inventory in your mind. That you'll remember little things that you saw in real life, and you're gonna take. You're gonna have like a, a library of information in your head that you're gonna pull from, so you can just draw various you know heads from your mind. Um, <clears throat> you know, but kind of amalgams of things you've drawn before. Everything you're drawing is probably, you know, chopped up versions of something you've drawn before in the past. Um, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to continue and I'm going to time lapse it again, and I'll talk to you after the break. Okay, I'm going to stop again and actually talk about the hair. Um, there's a lot of hair since, you know, he's basically this old, old dude, this old wizard guy. Um, 
Uh, because he's so old, there's a lot of hair. So he's got long hair. He's got you know long hair on his face. He's got a beard. Um, one thing to remember when you do hair um, that's extremely important is make it one mass and then dig into that one mass. You know, don't draw it strand by strand because it's gonna look like he has spaghetti on his face. Um, you're gonna have to draw it like this, like map out the shape. Boom, boom, boom. Just put it as a large chunk. And then at, when it's a large chunk, then you go into it and you dig into that large chunk because then it'll um, it'll look unified the way it does in real life. Um, beards in real life are usually, you know, you see them, they're unified. They look very nice. So just keep that in mind because that's the number one thing I see the most beginners do is they'll uh, they'll try to do single tiny strands from the beginning. You can do t you can do tiny strands just as long as you have the overall shape there. And uh, that's actually the most important. So it reads. It actually reads as a large shape. All right, I'm gonna go back into it again and see what we can do. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm actually gonna stop it really close to here because um, I want to describe something. Um, this is actually just a sketch. Um, you can take it to a much, much more rendered level, you know, much more shaded level. I'm just kind of sketching it out to show you a little bit on how to do it. Um, there's something I do. If you have to leave it at a certain step, you know, you can't quite shade every single thing. Um, there's a trick I do that I think uh, works pretty well, especially in sketches and even in finished drawings. Um, make the darkest portions. Um, in the eyes and around the kind of nose and mouth. Like for example, take this right here, make it really dark. Make it around the eyes. Make the darkest parts around the eyes. And I'm not sure why that is, but it just kind of looks nicer. Yeah, you can leave other things unfinished and uh, a little bit unfinished, you know, like if it's a sketch. And it'll look pretty good. You know, um, it just brings attention. That's the first place you're supposed to bring attention to, anyway. Mm. All right. Uh, anyways, but yeah, do that in a lot of drawings. You know, sometimes I'll do the entire eye. Sometimes I'll do that whole area, the whole nose area, because the central point of a face is always going to be around the kind of eyes nose general region um, and you can take this further, further as far as you want but I am gonna leave it as a sketch right now alright thank you oh also um, please remember to subscribe I wanna keep doing this thanks